New York Yankees fans, how's it going? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? NYNews.com, sponsored by Tylenol, cold and flu. If you're lucky at your local bodega, you can get it for 50 cents. But if you're not, you're going to pay a dollar. Well, hey, Yankees fans, I am back in NYC. Nothing's going to stop me. Sick or not, I am going to bring the news and my opinions to you guys. So... There's many things I want to talk about. First of all, the media's fascination with Manny Machado and his comments about Johnny hustling, whatever it was. I'm not Johnny Hustle or whatever. That was blown out of proportion. It came off as bad on paper. But if you go watch the video, it doesn't sound as bad as let's say all these mainstream media guys make it out to be. You know, the same guys that um, colluded against Miguel Landahor, colluded against him winning the American League Rookie of the Year. They stole it. And nobody can not tell me that, let's say, money was slid under the table, you know, lobbyist or whatever from Japan, or entities that have invested in Shohei Otani. It's obvious Miguel Landahor was the rookie of the year. And obviously, if you're a sports writer, there's going to be corruption there. You're going to have people offer you money to change your votes. It's obvious what happened here. Also, I'm not trying to get political. These writers are left-leaning. Nothing against liberals. But most of these writers, they are left-leaning. And the Yankees organization has made many contributions to the Republican Party. Just recently, Brian Cashman endorsed uh, Brett Kavanaugh for a Supreme Court justice. They have a vendetta against the Yankees. It's quite obvious. All these writers, any opportunity that they get, they're going to bash the Yankees. All of these media heads, they always take the opportunity to jab at the Yankees. Even MLB takes jabs at the Yankees. Who the hell came up with the idea of putting a Red Sox jersey on the Statue of Liberty? And I'm going to tell you why all that disrespect is happening here, folks. Because Hal Steinbrenner, look, I love the Yankees. I love the Yankees organization. But I do believe that Hal Steinbrenner Hal Steinbrenner really isn't a baseball guy. He has admitted that. So the Yankees and media, we have been seeing them blatantly disrespected on all platforms, on all subjects, on all genres. Because, like I said, one, mainly all of these writers are left-leaning. And they see the Yankees, let's say, as, I don't know, Donald Trump supporters. And secondly, they are taking these jabs at the Yankees because the boss isn't around anymore. So when you have things like Miguel Andahar being snubbed for Rookie of the Year when he was obviously Rookie of the Year, when you have uh, Lady Liberty dressed up in a Red Sox jersey, when you have all these... Uh, Sports franchises like the Red Sox saying, uh, oh, by the way, the Yankees are going to trade Stanton in a, in a year, putting out some sort of a conspiracy theory out there. All this blatant disrespect, all this negative press about Judge, this and that. This past season, 2018, I have never seen such blatant disrespect towards the New York Yankees ever, ever in my life. And those are the things I could name from the top of my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's not forget to uh, get in the effing box, uh, Brazier. <laughs> we didn't even hear a peep come out from the Yankees front office on that situation. Okay. And this is very important, guys. I am mentioning all this before I talk about Manny Machado because it's important that you guys hear it. All of this has happened because Hal Steinbrenner is not George. Steinbrenner. Hal Steinbrenner, I wouldn't even say he's the light version of his father. He is completely 
the opposite of the boss. In my opinion, all of this blatant disrespect that writers, that media heads, etc., have shown the Yankees, they have shown this respect because they know how Steinbrenner is not his father. Because they know how is, hmm, let's say, soft. And it's nothing against how Steinbrenner and his personality. If you ask me, it's great. I'm pretty sure his uh, well-tempered uh, attitude goes well with other business ventures that um, he has. But, in my opinion, it does not go well being the owner of the most historic sports franchise in history. Okay? A team that always has a target on their backs. And under Hal's reign, everybody's not taking the Yankees seriously anymore. This is Like I said, this is why they said, hey, screw Miguel Andor. Give it to Otani. You know why? Because the Yankees are soft. Softer than a Twinkie. Softer than a Marshmallow. Softer than a fat kid that loves cake. Soft. And this is why the Red Sox are walking all over the New York Yankees. This is why all these writers are walking all over the New York Yankees. So, with that being said, Hal Steinbrenner coming out saying, Oh, Manny Machado needs to explain his comments about Johnny Hustle. Johnny not hustle, whatever term that was. It was dead. That subject was dead long ago. I saw no reason to bring it up again. Either how is preparing Yankees fans to hear the news that they're not going to sign Manny Machado for the number Machado and his agent is looking for, or he's trying to decrease the value of Machado. But either way, it's not a smart, let's say, approach to take if you do want to sign Manny Machado. Because right there, his potential new boss is already criticizing him in a negative light in media. You see, you could compare Cashman's comments in house. Cashman avoided bashing Machado. And that was after uh, Howe's comments. So like I said, I don't want to attack the owner of the New York Yankees. Because what I do is talk about the Yankees. But if you have a boss like Howe, and you see how all of these platforms and all of these people are disrespecting the Yankees, the hardcore truth is it's just a reflection on who owns the New York Yankees. And I'm not bashing Cashman. Like I said, I, I'm praising Cashman. He took the right approach. If anything, Cashman is one of the last uh, remnants of the boss era. So he kind of gets that mindset. What I'm really trying to say here is, folks, that it seems that Howe is not very interested in baseball. Because when I hear him talk, it's like, let's say... Let's say you're in a family gathering. Then a conversation pops up. Oh, how about those Yankees? Did you watch the game? Then uh, you talk to a cousin. Hey, did you watch the Yankees game? And then they go, yeah, I did, I did. And then you keep talking. And then you realize that um, they have no idea who's on the Yankees currently because they haven't watched the Yankees in years. But they're acting like they watch Yankees games. So when I hear Howe talk, it's kind of similar. And yes, I know Howe was the better alternative to Hank. Hank, in my opinion, had that same attitude of his father. But unfortunately, supposedly, H Hank had uh, gambling addictions or, or whatever. What I'm trying to say here is Howe is still young. Howe is about, what, 47 to 48? He has a lot to learn. He has a lot of time to, let's say, mold himself to what he's going to be for years to come. And honestly, 
under the reign of Hal, it has been like that kid that was given a baseball team that he inherited and really he just owns it not because he wanted to not because he went out searching for it because it was passed along so in my opinion how needs to sound let's say more authentic not come out and say Hey, uh, Manny Machado needs to explain himself. We need to interview him. I want to listen to Manny Machado. What the hell do you guys have to listen to? Again, I'll go back to the example I gave. It's like sitting at a family reunion. You're talking about the Yankees. And somebody talks about something that happened two months ago. That's exactly what Hal did. It's like that whole situation was over with. And he brought it up. Because I don't know, he was late on it or what. But it makes absolutely zero sense. Because Manny Machado, his bat and his defense speaks for itself. And for sure, definitely, he's not going to try that in New York City. Because media is just going to destroy him. So, this has been Tough Love critiquing a young man. He's still young. He still has time to learn. He still has time to learn as a boss, as an owner. He should take criticism like this. I'm sure he's not going to listen to this, but um, if Yankees fans uh, recite it and we could agree as a whole or a high percentage that um, how needs to change his approach when it comes to what he does and what he says. That's it. I'm pretty sure he's going to grow to be an older age, obviously, and he's going to learn from his mistakes. And one of his mistakes is saying, oh, Manny Machado needs to explain himself. And if he doesn't, there's a chance that I won't sign him. I mean, you're giving him an excuse not to sign with the Yankees. Understand that? So moving along, on Twitter, I was going back and forth with uh, a Twitter user, a Yankees fan, that I clearly stated, I said, um, it's highly likely that a reunion with the Athletics and Sonny Gray it's highly possible that it's going to happen. And then I said, it's very possible that the Yankees are going to give uh, Sonny Gray the option of picking where he's headed. And then that Yankees fan said, haha, you're crazy. Cashman hates uh, Gray. He's going to trade him to any team that offers the best package or whatever. Are you serious? Sonny Gray did not initiate that trade. Sonny Gray just couldn't make it in New York. If Sonny Gray was a disrespectful son of a bitch, a nuisance, then I would agree. Throw him to the dogs. But Sonny Gray, he suffered here in New York. And was it his fault? I don't think so. Because as a GM, you got to know that where he was pitching, the Coliseum, was a pitcher's ballpark. And Yankee Stadium was a hitter's ballpark. On top of the pressure of pitching in New York City. So the best you could do for Sonny Gray, who didn't even initiate the trade. He wasn't a free agent. He didn't sign with you. The best thing you could do is, is give Sonny Gray the option, at least an opinion on where... He wants to go. And in my opinion, he would prefer the Oakland A's. So, Yankees fans, there was my little rant. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you think Hal Steinbrenner's comments were to, let's say, decrease the value of Manny Machado? Or was it in a way where Hal is getting the Yankees fan base ready for, let's say, if the Yankees don't sign Manny Machado because the Yankees are going to offer. Manny Machado, a number that they know him and his agent are not going to accept. So with that being said, be on the lookout for the Phillies. After those comments, I'll say this, 50-50 chance uh, Manny Machado becomes a Yankee. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MNYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And now we'll check.